YouTube just dropped the biggest update yet to its set of AI video creation tools, really supercharging the AI generator that's built into the shorts part of the YouTube app. So I did a video on this recently, but given these major updates, I thought this was worth covering the topic again, showing off these new features. Now these latest features haven't rolled out everywhere yet. So if you don't have access yet, then fingers crossed that you'll have access soon. But the biggest changes straight out is the amount of AI effects that are in here now, but also the level of AI video generation and control and stuff that we have in there too. So if we jump across to the YouTube app, I'm showing you on an iPhone, but it's exactly the same on Android. If we hit the plus down the bottom as if we're gonna generate and make a short, then the first thing we'll see here is up in this top right corner here, we actually have a little AI button now. So if we press on this, then this is gonna ask us, do we want to try some of these effects? We wanna draw something and see it transform. Do we wanna set the scene for your travel vlog and create a video clip? Do we want to film yourself anywhere you can imagine? So this is pretty much what they had before, where you could generate a background. And we've also got here, plan your dream decor. So create an image. So we can create an image, we can create a background, we can create a video clip, or we can try some of their effects. This interface and accessing this stuff is so much easier than it was previously. But then down the bottom area where it says create with AI, this is where we get to choose. Do we want to create video clips? Do we want to create images? Or do we want to create backgrounds? So I'm going to pick video clips. Is that going to ask us to accept their terms of service for using their AI content generator? And then we get to describe our video. Describe what you would like to create. So we can see they've got examples here. Two dogs running on water, a cute panda drinking coffee in a forest. This piece here, again, very similar to what they had before. Let's run with a black sports car driving down the face of a massive wave in Tahiti. I have no idea how this is gonna come out. But let's hit create. What I like about this though, is it's really quick to generate the images first. So it's gonna go ahead and create four images for us. And then whichever one we like the look of, we can then animate that. Now, right now, this is still apparently using Google's VO2 for the video piece and the VO3, the latest update, which is again, a significant upgrade on that again, should be out very soon in here. But already these images look really good and a big step up from what we've been able to generate in here before. So we can either pick your image here and save it, or we can pick it because we chose to make a video and it's going to animate that for us. So I'm gonna pick the one in the bottom left corner here. So yeah, here's that option to use the image or to create a video. And we also have the option, if we press the little three dots in the top right corner now, we can save this to our device. So even if you just wanted to generate an image or generate a short video and you didn't want to post it on YouTube Shorts, then we can still generate this and save it to our phone and use an editing software or anything like that too. Totally free. So if we hit use image down the bottom here, then that'll help us create a short using that as an image. But let's see what this looks like as a video. Let's go create video. Now this piece here, I'm just gonna talk in real time. You'll see this isn't sped up or anything like that. This is happening really quick. So we're already at 38%, uh, 54%. This is really quick. A lot of these AI video generators, they take a lot of time. And yeah, almost in the time of me filling the space with talking, that's done. Cool, so we have lost some of the detail. It's definitely not as sharp as it was before. But in terms of a wave, like that is insane. My background's filming big wave surfing. I don't know about a car driving on a big wave, but what more could you want here? So again, we get the choice here. Do we want to save this to our device? I will do that, save this to device and save to our camera roll. And again, we're free to use this anywhere beyond here. Or if I hit continue, then we can go through, we can trim this down. You can see that this clip is currently six seconds. We could trim the start or trim the end if we wanted to. We hit done and that's going to process that so that we can continue making our short as we normally would. So we can now see our video clip here that we just generated is taking up that first piece piece here of the short. I could then hit record here and continue to record and talk about that. Or I can come back up here and I can continue to generate another video as well. So if we do this and come back up here, then we could go ahead and create the next clip, the next image or video for our short. If I press on images, we're given that same prompt because the process is that it creates an image first and then it animates that image. If we go back, it's exactly the same for backgrounds as well. What do we wanna have in the background? Which again, it's going to generate an image and then we choose what we do with that. So the process for those three is pretty much exactly the same. 
Now, if we come back here, let's go back to me on camera here. The other effects and things that have been added in here are now under effects. So if we press on the little button here, the effects button, then down the bottom here, there's a lot of different effects that you can use here in the YouTube app to create your shorts. The ones that I'm interested in right now are the ones that are labeled here as AI and there's some pretty crazy ones. So if I just choose this sibling one here, I was having a quick play with this one before. It says, start recording to transform your selfie. So this piece here is a little strange in that I need to hit the record button down the bottom here and it counts down from three seconds and then it's gonna go and apply this AI effect, whatever we've done. So I'm gonna do this now and it's actually doing it now. Right, so it did it at the time, me counting down the three, two, one, actually the piece that it's using here to generate this video, which to me is a little strange. I would have thought it'd be a three, two, one. And then yes, we're gonna capture some video. Let me go from there, but something to be aware of. Okay, so let's see what this has generated again very quick. I'm talking and there's another me, I guess, kind of in the background. So the video quality here does look a little mushy and it could be the screen recording as well. Like it's definitely not super clear. This is 720p video this is generating, but as for a social media clip, perfectly fine. Or you could use something like CapCut or DaVinci Resolve or one of the other tools out there to sharpen that up and to increase the quality of this if you'd like to as well to up res it. Okay, so that's the sibling clip. Let's try another couple of these. Let's go back to effects. And let's have a look at Aquatic. This is one that they show off in their preview for this. Uh, go for a swim. So again, when I press the button, it's going to start. Maybe I won't talk as much. I'll just look around. Okay, a little awkward, but whatever. And it's gonna go ahead and generate. Let's cut to the finished version now. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, it does still kind of look like me. How does it know I'm wearing jeans? Actually, I'm wearing jeans. Normally wear shorts. And I'm underwater in my office. Pretty cool. So this is the jump shot. Oh, that was terrible. I was never that good at basketball, but I think I was better than this. Next one, this is me fishing. Oh, there you go, got my fishing hat on. I'm kind of talking. And what, oh, that was the fish that I caught at the end. <laughs> Let's have a look, where is it? Fair enough, I caught a fish. And now I got a trophy. Okay, it was a weird, uh -huh. there's my trophy. Silver. Okay, weird little effect there. Crossfade, kind of looks like me, but also not really a little bit. Anyway, you can see that there's so many of these effects in here too, which could add to the content that you're creating. Have a bit of fun. Okay, future me jumping back in here because there's been another major update to this. You can now do image to AI as well. So we're back here in the shorts creation area, but this time to access this, we wanna come down to add here. So we're gonna add a photo that we have already taken. I'm gonna pick this one here, product shot. So it's an old camera lens here. Down the bottom, we can adjust how long we want this to go for. I'm gonna keep this short here at two seconds just for this video. But the kicker here is the difference piece is that if we pick photo to video up the top here, then this is where we can turn that photo into a video using AI. So it goes through and it analyzes the photo, works out what's actually in there. So it's detecting different products and things. And then it's gonna give you a bunch of suggestions on what you could do to it. So at the time of recording this, you actually can't create a custom prompt for this, but we'll see here, we've got vintage lens levitates, then returns, kitten rubs against vintage lens. Pentax lens slowly rotates, so it's really analyzed the shot here. The lens puts on sunglasses. You can see there's lots of options, but again, nothing custom at this point. Let's come back to the top. Vintage lens levitates, then returns. Let's hit create video on this. And again, this is happening really quick. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so the lens is spinning. I wouldn't say it's levitating, but it's definitely moving around. You can see the text on top of it is a little messed up, but if you're at a pinch and you forgot to shoot B-roll is their example, if you needed a product shot or something, then you could use this to generate something quick and easy to complete your video. Let's go back. Let's try kitten rubs against the vintage lens. Okay, there we go. Definitely got a kitten licking the lens with a flower that dropped out of nowhere. But I mean, this is pretty cool. Okay, let's go back, let's do one more example. Let's pick this one here of a laptop. Let's choose photo to video. Here we have a suggestions. It floats into the air, transforms into a robot. Glitter explodes, confetti. 
The keyboard changes color, balloons float around it. Laptop transforms into a plush toy. Let's go transforms into a robot. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, it's different. It at some point transforms into the robot. If you're not happy, you can just hit try again and it's gonna go and generate another version of that for you. Let's see if this one's any better. Okay, I reckon that one is better. I don't know what happened at the end. It's like a crossfade into some other shot, but this is very usable. Now in my testing with this feature, this is the one that I have found to be a little bit buggy because it is brand new. Whenever I seem to have a person in the shot, it's almost 50-50 whether it's actually going to generate. Sometimes you need to try it a few times before you'll actually get it to make something. Other times it doesn't make anything at all. But this is an experimental feature by YouTube and pretty awesome that they've got it built into the app. So let me know in the comments, is this something that you've used or is this something that you're going to use in your videos from now on? And if you wanna keep updated with the latest AI tools for video generation, video creation, then check out the link on screen and the link in the description box below where we share all the stuff that we are currently playing with. As always, there's a bunch of other resources and links down there to help you even further. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.